I have problems with my mobility. Um, so I was, I'm involved, I don't think I told you, as a community reporter, and everything has been centred in Manchester. And it's in the centre of Manchester, and it's like my worst nightmare is I have to go on public transport because the train, trains from here to Manchester, you invariably have to stand, even though it's 20 minutes. By the time I've stood for 20 minutes and then I've had to make my way out of the, you know, so blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, by the time I've got to somewhere, I'm ready to go home again. So uh, I haven't been to most of the newsrooms because they're always putting them in the middle of Manchester. And uh, whereas with Zoom, I've been able to participate. Mm. So I think for people, you know, who have the digital know-how and have disabilities, I think actually it's you know, it might be quite an empowering thing, you know, or that it, it, it enables you to participate in things that possibly previously couldn't. Um, and, you know, I, I just think that we need, I think there needs to be work around uh, on a national level around um, digital uh, inclusion, well, Wi-Fi access and things like that. Um, yeah, I think that there needs to be, and a kind of national thing about that for children, for older people, whatever it is, um, you know, to enable them. In particular, I'm thinking of of my son who found the whole concept of suddenly not being in his normal place very, very difficult to manage. And then having to do that remotely when he didn't like the thought of college almost entering his home because it was across the screen. He wasn't comfortable with that. Um, so that made life here really quite difficult. But I was not at all before this, as most of you know that know me, one per I was never into connecting over virtually at all. So it kind of has pushed me forward by years because I never did Zoom, FaceTime, um, nothing. I was the opposite of kind of where most people were at. So it's really made me kind of connect with people when i was doing my zooms i was doing like four or five zoom meetings a day with young people and um, people who'd never met before um just connecting them throughout wales so why would you should get in the car now they're all online within reach and i think what i found was they started sharing more so our conversations were deeper more meaningful um i really got to know them in a way that i wouldn't have known them if i sat in a community hall and um, people share a lot more on Zoom.